Hi beautiful people, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lilian Shiro. I trained back in Kenya as a nurse and apparently I work in the UK as a registered nurse. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you exactly the reasons as to why you are not getting, you know, the tier 2 visa jobs as a carer. Yeah, and I'll also be giving you uh, an example of one of uh, of job adverts that is there that is showing the reason as to why they are not taking people from outside and why they prefer to get people who are already inside here. Yeah, so I'll be explaining that. And this video is not to discourage you. Actually, it's to show you you still have an option and that you can still continue applying for the jobs for carers, but in a different avenue or in a different direction. So I'm going to explain that. So make sure you watch this video to the very end so that you get to understand exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, so in case you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also like the video. Also get to share your thoughts in the comment section below. You can even ask your questions and remember to share my video so that we can get to help so many people out there. And without further ado, let's get into the video. video that I did uh, previously it was about how to get jobs as a carer or as a, as a nurse in the UK in the year 2022 if you are from amber listed or red listed countries so we said the red listed countries um, the agencies the recruiting agencies can't recruit there at all at all and for the amber listed countries the agencies they, they can recruit but not actively yeah so in case you didn't watch that video guys please make sure you go watch that video and you have exactly a clue of what i'm talking about also this one of my subscribers who did uh say or co comment that uh they've been trying to apply but they are not uh getting these jobs and that's the reason as to why i'm doing this video because this is not the first time that people are approaching me to tell me that they have been applying for these jobs but they can't get the jobs yeah so i'll be explaining that as well as i've mentioned as i was starting this video okay the care jobs they are very very competitive yeah yeah because uh in the uk of course um the care job or the healthcare assistant job it's recognized in the hospitals in the care homes domiciliary jobs in the living care you know set up so they are recognized all over and so it's very competitive and i'll start by saying that um for you to come from overseas and have a job here in the uk as a carer your employer is supposed to give you certificate of sponsorship yeah and also they are supposed to process your visa they are also supposed to know once you get into the uk how are you supposed to live like the accommodation in case you're supposed to go somewhere to work uh, probably in the domiciliary care where you have to go daily at a certain time you know you are you are sent somewhere in a different home you come from this home you go to, you go to the other home also they are supposed maybe to provide a car for you they are also supposed to train you like in case you don't have the knowledge of what you're supposed to have and i had said uh, i'll give you an example exactly to show you what is required i'll give you a job advert that is there and um disclaimer this job is expired the time i had opened it it was still uh, active but at the moment it's expired but i want to go through it and try and share my screen so that you can see exactly exactly what i'm talking about we will discuss that uh post and we'll see from there yeah so i'm inside here and i'll read you uh this job 
So these are care assistant job tier two visa sponsorship. This means that you can come from the overseas and they can sponsor you to work in the UK as a carer. And then I'll say this job is in Swindon, um, Swindon, and uh, they are paying up to twenty thousand four hundred and eighty per annum plus pension and mileage. Mileage uh, means if you if it's in the domiciliary care and you'll be using your car to drive around you know to go to the clients houses they are going to pay you this money so they'll be paying you the petrol that you're gonna be using and that's good salary by the way twenty thousand four hundred and eighty that is really good money to start with uh per annum then uh, they are saying it's in the first uh no now the company the company is first city nursing and care swindon swindon i think it's somewhere in Either Central England, I'm not really sure where Swindon is, but I think it's somewhere in Central England, if I'm not so wrong, guys. Yeah, so the company is First City Nursing and Care, that is in Swindon now. And the job post was supposed to be permanent, yeah. And then you can see here, guys, it's expired already. But I had checked this post like uh, a week ago when I was doing that video, yeah. When I, when I did that video, the one that I was talking about, uh, about how to get jobs, but then <laughs> I came down with a cold. You can hear the way I'm talking. Uh, so I couldn't do the video like immediately, but then the job post at the moment is expired. So can you see like a disclaimer? There's a star and a star at the end of this uh, disclaimer, guys. So you must already be living in the UK and require tier two visa sponsorship and happy to relocate if need be okay for example i'm in northern ireland belfast and this job, job is in swindon if i am a carer and i need that job of course and uh, of course i need the sponsorship so they are saying they can give me the sponsorship they can give me the visa yeah for me and i should be willing to relocate to england yeah so the role is for people in the UK already. Please do not apply if you are not in the UK. Okay? Do not apply if you are not in the UK. Remember guys, I already said it's very competitive to get the carer jobs here. Very, very competitive. There are people who are already here, let's say like uh, the dependents when they come, most of the dependents who come, they work as uh, care assistants. And because number one, it's a well-paying job. That is number one number two it's a ready available job yeah you just need to apply they take you through the training and then you're good to go uh -huh. due to the nature of the role a full driving license is essential and with access to a car preferred you need to be fluent in written and spoken english okay i'll come to that so due to the nature of the role a full driving license is essential and with access to a car is preferred what is it saying so if you're coming if you're going to take this post you're supposed to have a full driving license you should have a full driving license so in case you came let's say from kenya you came here you're using one year uh, that's the one that is provided by the government like um you're allowed to drive one year using your home like home country license here in the uk so you can use your license but again you should be working on getting a driving license for the uk uk driving license okay but in this case i don't know maybe they, they would be looking for the uk driving license but i think it's a valid license for as long as you can use it and you can work your way to doing your driving license to doing your exam and get the driving license guys i've done these uh videos how to buy a car in the uk and also how to get the correct um how to get the correct uh driving license for the uk and because they've said access to a car is preferred do you know why they're saying this guys and that's why i'm saying it's competitive that's why these jobs <laughs> they are limited to those people who don't have the resources okay yeah so if you are if you have a car already you'll be suitable for this job or if you can buy as soon as you can you'll be suitable for the job you need to be fluent in written and spoken english so guys 
that's why you need um IELTS exam for if you're a carer you need the IELTS exam and also I had said last time aim as high as possible because you never know maybe in future you can do something else with the English exam so but I usually say at least aim at band 5 because still you'll be using that IELTS for your visa okay uh, the other thing is uh, I noted you can use Actis you see those people who are coming from uh, universities they can use Actis but this one I'll do a different video we will discuss uh, more about Actis it's E C T I S Yes, I think yeah but I think I should do another video to discuss uh, how the government is allowing it to use that university certificate to show that you've schooled or your education was through English you know yeah so uh, first city and care are proud to to support the community community in and around Swindon including but not limited to West Swindon, Ruton, Chisodon, um, Highwall, Penhill, Nile, uh, Eldin, and Br Brunsdon. <laughs> yeah, I think those are just the areas where these uh, first city nursing and care usually operate in. So that means if you're willing to relocate, maybe you can be given at a certain place or you can be sent somewhere different. Yeah. Uh, the lead provider of person-centered domiciliary care in and around the Swindon area are seeking caring, honest, honest and reliable individuals with a passion for supporting others to join our expanding team of healthcare assistants in and around the Swindon area. This fantastic opportunity involves supporting people in the local community to live independently at home. The successful candidate will support customers with their day to day routine, which would include personal care, meal preparation, light domestic duties, among others, uh, among other requirements outlined in each person centered support plan. The success, the successful candidate will embrace first city's company values and be honest, uh, reliable, caring, trustworthy compassionate guys i've done uh roles of a healthcare assistant job so in case you're not aware your roles or your responsibility as a carer go back to my video i'll leave it in the comment section below and then you get to see it so if you're friendly approachable and empathetic towards others and have have the drive to go the extra mile we are looking for you high quality in-house induction training will be provided followed by shadowing experienced healthcare assistant before commencing independent working that's really good guys uh, i know we had mentioned this one when we were talking about living care so they have to train you guys uh if you are going to work with them before you start your work if you are coming from overseas or you're very new to the job but they're gonna train you they can't leave you to just start without any induction okay oh sorry about that okay sorry about that um yeah so it's good at least you have someone to induct you so you can observe someone working and you can do that so first pack include first in form three um discount at major retailers flexible hours some weekend commitment is required access to employee assistance program with health assured opportunity to increase knowledge through training opportunities opportunity for career progression industry uh, leading training ongoing support and training flexible working hours career development and diplomas in health and social care that's good 28 days holiday company pension and the generous refer a friend scheme job type full-time and then salary of course i had already said twenty thousand uh, four hundred and eighty pounds yeah yeah so i think um i'll get up to there because we already said more about you, you must be uk based already and own your own car and full driver's license our care workers are aged 18 and over so you must be over 18 years 
if you're looking for a role where you can be flexible and get a lot of satisfaction from helping others then we are waiting to hear from you all jobs with first city nursing and care are subject to satisfactory references enhanced uh, dbs check and full completion of mandatory training the dbs it's about uh, police clearance guys in case you didn't know okay and completion of mandatory trainings I'll, i think i'll get there all right uh anyway you've already heard uh what's happening uh that's why i had to share my screen that job post that i've just read it's already giving you a clue the reason as to why you're not getting a job from overseas okay number one uh, I did mention they they should maybe pay for your visa. Yeah, after after giving you the sponsorship, they're supposed to give you um, le Like they should pay for your visa. They they are supposed to pay for your flight Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to happen with the employers. They're supposed to pay for your flight as well They are supposed to make sure that you have ready accommodation by the time you get here All right, and they are supposed to make sure that you have proper training I've just mentioned here that they gonna induct you so they gonna maybe make sure that you shadow someone who is already in the job and yeah and also now you see they have said you need to have a full driving or a full driver's license so in case you are coming from overseas and you don't have a driving license that's a major drawback yeah the other the other point where they they will be looking at it would be if you get to the uk you already do not have money to have your own car all right so that's another major drawback but in case maybe um let me see yeah and then let's say about uh, accommodation let's say about accommodation so accommodation according to this post they are saying you should be willing to relocate I'm not so sure whether they would organize uh, accommodation, but I know of other people whom they are saying, talk to someone that you already know in the UK and they can secure accommodation for you. So lack of accommodation is another major drawback. Yeah. So, and the other thing, uh, as I've said, you should have like, um, you should complete, you know, the trainings. So anyway, you know, those ones should not even bother you because once you're here, they will show you the trainings, the major trainings that you're supposed to do. Yeah which are, we normally do online and also others you are required to go physically mostly like um you see the the like moving and handling you know bls that is uh, basic life support yeah those things you're supposed to do online now i want to turn this thing around how can you negotiate to get this job if you are not in the uk i remember when i said last time in my video why don't you talk to these employers because every post there's always an email and there's always a number that you can contact why don't you explain your situation yeah talk to this employer and show them your willingness to come and work with them yeah show them that so you can say maybe you already have your driving license no one else i've had them explain this but i know i've spoken to a few people about this and then I'm doing this video just to make sure that this information reach as many people as possible. So I've said this, get that number, contact them, apply, do not fail to apply because you hear only the people who are in the UK, they should have. Um, and now I'm, I'm here to give you the tips where you can negotiate your way in. Okay. So number one, make sure you have all the requirements. I've already done videos about the requirements, you know them. Number two, you can, uh, if you have money, you can ask to pay for your own visa. Okay. Number three, you can also ask to pay for your own flight to the UK. Number four, you can look for someone who is already in the UK and maybe around the area. You can ask them the area, whether they, you know, whether um, they, uh, they have like a, places around west you know someone let's say i'm in belfast yeah you can ask them do you have a place in belfast if they have a position in belfast and then you already know someone you can look for accommodation 
okay you can look for your own accommodation so you can pay your own accommodation that's another thing okay you can also tell them you have money to buy your own car that is if you have that money don't lie if you know you don't have that money to buy a car don't lie but in case you say you can do all these things you never know maybe they might agree to give you a car because i know of an employer who is saying on northern ireland who usually provides vehicles to their new employers their new employees sorry look for money to buy your own car as fast as possible as quickly as possible so that you can continue working those are the things that you can do so make sure you don't limit yourself please continue applying don't lose hope i know there are people who are discouraging people about this uh this this person was commenting commenting in my videos when i say uh you know the jobs for the carers you know the charity uh, workers and i had to delete all his um comments because he's there to discourage people but you never know your luck is not the other person's luck so why don't you just apply for that job so me i would encourage you if you are able to look for this money you can do your own savings and stuff like that please apply for that job and negotiate your way in if possible also even if you are not you are not able to have that money for as long as you have all other requirements keep applying keep applying you never know yeah your day might come and god will bless you with that work that you're looking for yeah so guys um i think that's it for today in case you have any questions guys please do not be afraid to ask in the comment section below i always get back to you okay ah uh, thank you so much for watching this video yeah i do appreciate in case you've not subscribed guys kindly remember to subscribe like the video leave a comment and also share this video and i'll be seeing you in my next video